So we're in the middle of winter, as I said, and what we really want to get, besides some greens, is some calorific, really good carbohydrate, starchy vegetables. That's what the body stores as food, as energy. It's the only type of energy the body can store, and that's the sugars that we can take or create and develop from the starches in the roots, okay? So this is what we need to focus on in the middle of winter. So let's get down on this plant now, it's the wild parsnip. This wild parsnip, if you're unfamiliar with the parsnip plant, grows out across the ground, tries to outcompete other plants. There's the leaf there, let's just get a really nice leaf to show you. Okay. How do we tell what it is? It's just a green leaf to the untrained eye. Okay, I've zoned in on it because I'm really familiar with it. Take it, give it a crush. Definitely parsnip straight away. One thing I will say about this plant, it's one of the embellifers. It's one of the embellifers that can sometimes cause a rash or reaction to the skin. So if you've got sensitive skin, be really careful and use gloves to pick this. It's not the foliage that I want to focus on though. It's what's under the ground that we need to concentrate on. That's where the really good food, the really good starchy food is. So using a stick, we never use our hands to dig into the shingle. There can be broken glass, etc. smashed in there. So just using a stick, we really just want to scrape the roots out from one side. When you're digging roots up, obviously, we don't want to waste loads of energy to do it and get a small amount of energy from this. It's a survival equation, energy in, energy out, as I've said before many times. So we just dig up one side of it and then we're going to try and push the root forward rather than dig all the way around the plant. This is one of the biggest ones I think I've ever seen. It's been a really good year for it. And you can see on this shingle just how loose it is, okay? There's no apparent soil down in there, okay? What there is in here, this, the mud or what looks like soil, is actually desiccated dried seaweed that's been blown up as a powder and then gone down into the ground. And that's why these vegetables and all of the wild vegetables come from the coast. They can't grow underneath the canopy of a tree. And that's why gardeners often favour using seaweed type fertilisers, etc. And why their food grows so well. As early hunter gatherers, this is where we lived. So you can quite easily see now the size of that. This is a whopper, okay? It's usual just to get them about the size of your finger. I'm going to carry on digging now, and then we'll see what it yields. And straight away, just even one of the side shoots I'm starting to expose there now, and that's as large as your average type parsnip. So I'm going to carry on digging now, and I'll show you when I get it out of the ground. So this one's so deep, and got so many side roots coming out on it, I switched to a great big stone, using some nice primitive tools, sticks and stones. And you can see, now, just as I get down there now, just how much vegetable is on it. I'm having to go, I didn't think this one was so big, I'm having to go around the back of this one because what's happened is it's got so much fertiliser, we had these massive storms last winter, and this is why you don't fertilise your carrot or your parsnip beds, you get what's called fork root, and it's pushing out all those roots in search of all this really rich nutrients around it. So we've got multiple root systems on it, and we're nearly there at the moment. And then what we need to do is when we get to that stage is push it down and pull it up, push it down, pull it up. If it doesn't come, don't pull it straight to the ground or you're going to lose loads of this, these ex roots that are trailing off there. And we're just trying to see what extent they go, go to now. Let's just pull one of the side roots up. We can even leave the main body of this plant growing and we'll probably get enough food off the side. And look at that. That's just one side shoot. And that's amazing food. It's really tender really bendy, it's new, where we've snapped it off there, it's nice and white, you want to check for maggots going down to make sure it's not black, and then the way to really identify this over any other plant or any, any other root, rather than hogweed or other roots that look like this, is just to give that a rub there, and that is why the chefs go absolutely mad for this plant if they can get hold of it, this is why I really love this plant, the smell from that it's got to be 10 times as strong. It is so intense, it's unmistakable that that is a parsnip. So I've managed to get myself quite easily there. Huge bunch of parsnip roots. Quite topical this time of year, I suppose, just about to approach Christmas. Any of you wild foragers out there that want to put something wild and really tasty into your Christmas dinner, this is the one to get out and get. 
So I've taken off some of the side shoots. I'm going to leave this main shoot in here. It's going to carry on growing, hopefully produce some more seeds and regenerate and put some more plants out for us. So what we'll do now is we'll just cover that back over. And that's there then to regenerate for next year.